This video is brought to you by Core Gems. Core Gems is a Canadian gemstone dealer selling the world's most exceptional gemstones, including ruby, emerald, sapphire, spinel, tourmaline, and more. Core Gems backs up its items with 60-day free returns and has 100% positive feedback. So shop with confidence, knowing that you are dealing with the internet's top gemstone dealer. Check out the description for links to Core Gems Etsy and Gemrock Auctions stores. And make sure to follow Core Gems on Instagram and Reddit, so you never miss out on any exclusive gemstone content. I only paid five dollars for this bangle, um, so no harm, no foul. What I wanted to show here was this UV test. So I'm going to turn off all the lights now. Alexa, turn off one. Okay. Alexa, turn off three. Okay, and then we are going to turn on this UV light here. So what people expect is this. It's a bit hard to see, but it's much more obvious in real life. It's very clearly fluorescent green. It looks like a glow stick. It is absolutely glowing, vibrant, very clear, very bright. On the other hand, this bangle right here is not exhibiting any fluorescence whatsoever which is which uh, agrees with the Chinese certificate right it makes sense it's untreated however when we sent it to GIA what we discovered was that not only is it treated with polymer but it has also been dyed it has also been dyed despite the two levels of treatment that have been done to this bangle it does not exhibit any ultraviolet fluorescence at all this is because of new technology. Just like when the diamond test, just like when lab created diamonds first entered the market and they were passing all the diamond testers and people were losing a lot of money. It's the same thing here. It used to be that you could just use a UV light and you could see whether jade has been dyed, whether jade has been uh, polymer impregnated, whether it has been chemically treated, so on. It's not the case anymore. New technology does not, uh, the new polymers, they do not show any fluorescence whatsoever. Of course, grade A jadeite will not show any fluorescence, but neither will grade B or grade C jade that has been treated using the new types of polymers. Just a quick review, grade B jade has been injected with a polymer to improve the clarity, and grade C jade has been dyed with a color, for example, green or lavender or blue or red or whatever color the treatment is supposed to achieve. So now we'll take a look at the GIA report for this carving right here. As you can see, natural color, no indication of polymer impregnation. And then I didn't even bother sending this $5 bangle for a GIA report because it's so obviously blatantly treated. This is where you'll lose money. This is where a lot of people lose money. A lot of fairly medium sized and even larger labs are testing this as grade A. They cannot detect it using traditional technology. They just cannot determine that it's been treated. Something like this is obvious. Even just looking at it, you can see how smooth and even and consistent the color is. But just looking at it from you know, a first perspective, it has flex and it has imperfections, it has inconsistent tone. It looks very, very, very real, very convincingly real. In fact, I showed it to a jade expert and he offered me cash for it, say unseen, just from the pictures and video. And I said, no, I don't, I want to make sure it's grade A first. Of course, you know, reputation is everything to us. There's a reason we have nearly 300 positive feedback on Gemrock auctions. There's a reason we have five stars on Etsy. We care about our customers. I would not want to sell anything that is less than what it's been described as. I, I, would, I just couldn't do it. And uh, those are values that I hold my employees to. Those are values that I hold um, every single business partner that I enter into any business with unfortunately there are many many unscrupulous many many unethical uh, 
unethical vendors out there and unfortunately the new technology is on their side they are able to very easily pass very very authentic and very very natural looking uh, jade into the market and people are none the wiser your best bet again GIA Hong Kong Jade and Stone Lab Gublin SSEF AGL send it to a reputable lab and you will not regret it if it's a valuable piece of jade hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, please subscribe for more great gem content hit that notification button so you never miss any of our videos and leave down in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see next all right thank you so much for watching and from all of us here at core gems merry christmas and happy holidays everyone thank you